Hi everybody, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Today I have a couple different hauls, a little collective hauls for you guys. I had to run into Dollar Tree to get a couple things and I had some wishlist items. I went to the grocery outlet to get our Super Bowl goodies and we walked the swap meet and I found some awesome, 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 super exciting deals at the swap meet. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It was a very small haul, but I did find some wishlist items. So we needed toilet paper. Everybody, we always need toilet tissue in this house. I've told you guys before, they eat it like cotton candy. It's gone. So I finally ran out of the Sam's Club pack that I usually get, and I'm not going to Sam's Club until next week. So I just picked up two of the four pack of the Scott Comfort Plus. For a dollar, you can't beat that. Then I picked up two of the Colgate Optic White. I love this toothpaste, and it is a good travel size too, and we're just about ready for some new toothpaste. And then guys, I love horror films. Love, love, love them. This was only a buck, yes, at the Dollar Tree for, you know, no, well-known movies. The Amityville Horror with Ryan Reynolds, which I thought he did a really good job in that movie. Chucky with Child's Play. The Last House on the Left. And the che Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Can never get that out all in one word. Anyways, for a dollar, I was so excited to put that into my movie collection. Then I just needed some melatonin because sometimes I have a hard time getting to sleep at night. So I thought I would give that a try. And these are my little wish list item, guys. I didn't find any of the cute little fairy garden stuff that was like the ice cream shop because I wanted the camper so bad. But look, they have the little truck and it is red. Super cute. I can keep this up year round. No worries. Then they had the camper. It's little baby blue with the red door. It says, welcome. And these are perfect to fit on a three-tier tray. So I was happy, happy to find those. Plus, I'm not, uh, go, like I said, I'm not going to Sam's Club until next week. So I did pick up two of the Good Sense flap ties. You get 14 in here. So I think this is the best buy for your buck at the Dollar Tree. So that's what I picked up at Dollar Tree. Like I said, it was a super small haul. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. But I do occasionally have like little wish list items like the truck and things like that. So, okay, let's see how much I spent at the grocery outlet. Let's see. I spent, well, there we go, 45 30 yeah, and it says I saved $52.73. So I don't remember all the prices. Let's see if I can remember the prices without looking at the receipt, guys. Let's move the toilet tissue out of the way. Okay, my main thing for going to the grocery outlet is always chicken wings. They tend to have the best price in my area for chicken wings. So I did pick up four of these one and a half pound bags. They were $2.99 each, guys. Awesome, awesome price. We also are making bar um, pulled barbecue pork sandwiches, so I just picked up some hamburger rolls for 99 cents. Yeah, I think that's 99 cents. Then I picked up some of this Hunt's smoked barbecue sauce. It's mesquite molasses for 99 cents. I thought that would be cool to try on the wings. We also picked up a Tostitos original party size and the Lay's wavy original because we're going to be making dips with those. And we also picked up the big party size of the regular Doritos, but the kids already put those out in a bowl. And these were buy two, get one free, so they were $3.99 each, so we did get one bag free. For the wings, I needed some oil, because I usually don't have a lot of oil like this in the house, because we don't generally eat a lot of fried food, but it is Super Bowl, and you cannot have Super Bowl without some crispy wings. So that was only $5.99 for uh, three liters. That's a lot of oil. Then they had these uh, soft tortilla bowls by El Paso. These were 50 cents, and I thought this would be a cute little alternative besides the rolls. Whoops, I dropped you guys. To put the pulled pork in. Um, we are making homemade salsa, but one of the girls doesn't like the homemade salsa that we make. I don't know, they're super weird. You think that all salsa is the same. But I did pick them up, this essential thick and chunky salsa, and that was only 99 cents for almost a pound and a half. When I went into the Dollar Tree, I needed the dishwasher packs. My store was wiped clean. So in the result of not wanting to go to another grocery store, I just picked up the Cascade Original. You get 15, yeah, 15 in here, and this was only $2.99. So I figured for a name brand, that's not too bad. We got a little can of the tomato sauce. This is my favorite tomato sauce and tomato product, which is the Summer Inside brand. Really like that tomato sauce. And I never buy ketchup because I, re I really don't eat ketchup. So the kids finally told me they were out of ketchup. And this is a huge bottle, almost two pounds of ketchup for 99 cents. So that should last them a while. Then for a sweet treat, I picked up some of these Pillsbury orange rolls. These were only 99 cents. So I figured that would be a nice little breakfast alternative for them. 
For the fresh salsa, I picked up a bag of the Calroy tomatoes. I love this brand of tomatoes. And let's see, how many pounds is in here? Two pounds, and it was $1.99. So that'll be used for the fresh salsa. Also for the fresh salsa, I picked up two cucumbers. The other one is in the bag. Two cucumbers and a bunch of cilantro. And it was, let's see, how much was the cilantro? Uh, oh, the tomato sauce was only 34 cents a can. The cilantro was 69 cents for a big bunch of cilantro. Then we picked up some of these Tostino um, pizza rolls. This is in the ham and cheese. That'll go on the little snack tray. Also, we found these. This was an amazing deal. The 99 was having these for a while, but my 99 only got in the lemon lime flavor. But this is the Perrier in juice drink. So this isn't the sugar-free one, guys. So you have to be careful. It does have 9 grams of sugar in it. Um, I, get the, I got the peach and cherry flavor the strawberry kiwi and the pineapple and mango they just sounded really good a different alternative to getting soda so i figured that would be nice for the super bowl instead of buying sugary sugary drinks like a say pepsi and coke so that is my little haul from the grocery outlet i'm going to come right back and show you guys the amazing finds that i got at the swap meet because every weekend me and the hubby when he doesn't have to work we go and walk the swap meet for like exercise because it's like a pretty much a full mile when you walk the whole thing so we like to go just dink around and see what we can find. Sometimes we don't even purchase anything. We mostly just go for the exercise. But yesterday was my day, ladies. Oh, I was so excited. So let me get this put away because I have to prep for Super Bowl. I have a lot of cooking to do. Oh, meal plan real quick. We are making two different kinds of chicken wings, barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. We are making uh, teriyaki meatballs, which are the chicken meatballs. We are doing the Beyond Beef Nachos because we do have vegetarians in our house and a bunch of different sides. I'm also making gourmet pigs in a blanket. So yes, ladies, and I'm gonna take you along for some of it. I can't promise to film all of it, but I am going to keep this going. So if you guys wanna hang on and see what the rest of our day is like, thank you for joining us. And if you guys are done, I will see you next video, but stay tuned because we are going to show you guys how everything else turns out. Okay, so the groceries are put away. I'm getting ready to start cooking, but I wanted to show you the awesome finds that I got at the swap meet. So we went to around, we, we were halfway through the swap meet and we were in the center and these ladies had this really neat little setup going on and they had kept saying, you know, everything on the table is for a dollar. So I was nosy and I went and looked and guys, I hit the jackpot. Everything here cost me $4. I love Converse shoes and they had these brand new Converse's. They look like they maybe got scuffed from, you know, traveling in their packaging. But for a dollar, a brand new pair of Chucks, you cannot beat that at all brand new so happy about my my new shoes so this is it ladies this is my exciting finds i found ray dunn brand new at the swap meet for a dollar this is mary with a cute little gnome on it and it is the 213 so i got that one and then this large casserole with the cute little christmas tree again it has the back that says ray dunn if they had more, I probably would have bought all of it, but this was the only three pieces they had of that. There was a couple other things that I wanted. There was a couple three-tiered trays, but people were jumping on it because these ladies have such nice products for a dollar. And then I got the loaf pan that has the cute little Christmas tree in as well. Oops. And it says Ray Dunn on the bottom. So those were my cool swap meat finds. I was so excited. I had to share with you guys. So I'm going to go back in the kitchen and we will see what I start cooking. Okay guys, the Super Bowl is over. I do apologize for not getting any kind of filming done while Super Bowl was going. But out of nowhere, my allergies hit so hard and I don't know what got me. Something got me, but it did. I just wanted to give you a quick over glance of what we did make. I did make the barbecue pork, so I have some left over for sandwiches. And guys, if you come across this barbecue sauce, I know it's kind of bright. This barbecue sauce is amazing, super good, so highly recommend it. We have a little bit of a pizza left. This is the Devourer pizza with uh, three different kinds of pepperoni on it. We have a lot of the ham and cheese little Tostinos left. This is what's left out of six pounds of chicken wings, so this will go for lunches. And then I also have the um, jalapeno popper wontons. And these are the um, mozzarella and pepperoni egg rolls. They're kind of like um, cheese sticks. And I did air fry those. So that is what... Oh, I got the hiccups too. See, I'm telling you guys, it's been a day. So this is what we had for Super Bowl. I did lose money on the Super Bowl because I always bet with the kids and the hubby. 
and I really thought we were going to win and we didn't. So who were you guys rooting for? and Were you disappointed? And the um, halftime show was amazing. Loved every minute of it. So I'm going to close this out. I have so much more to do tomorrow. So if you guys like this kind of video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you next video. Bye.